Okay, welcome back to more Pokemon Shield. Uh, that didn't exactly tell me what to do after that. But I guess I need to talk to Mustard. Ah, there you are, Sato. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Jojo. Now then, come on out. This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kapfu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential problem is it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Sato, maybe if it joins you on your journey, that'll help it break what... break out of its shell a little bit. What? You said adventure, not journey. Oh, okay. <laughs> so take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Bearman? Cub Fu talks weird. He doesn't say Cub Fu. It is the same. He says Bear and Bearma. Oh. Cub Fu became your Pokemon. Yeah. Now then. The first thing for you to do is become friend, best friends with Cub Fu. You need to build trust. Cub Fu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to the to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. It all have my students standing out at good spots, so just keep an eye out. They're like what? And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly toward each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hear by grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together and go take a stroll with Kabfu. Why don't you? Once you're best for buddies, We'll start Cub Fu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. So you have to switch it to number one? I guess I need to go outside for that to happen. Nice. Oh, it's level 10. That's not very good. 
You have to build it up first. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it is tiny. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to give it a couple things just in case I accidentally run into battle. Where would they be? Right, they'd be here. Yeah, I'll just give it all six of these. Aerial lace? Sure. user fights the target up close without guarding itself. The, this also lowers the user's defense and special defense stats. I mean, that's nice and all, but yeah. The user focuses its mind before launching a punch. This move fails if the user is hit before it is used. Is it still following me if I'm on my bike? Nope. It actually... is it? Oh, it is. It's just extremely slow. And also stuck on her. We're seeing a Pokemon that's slow. is Bufalent. I have one. I have whatever that is. I have a Bufalent. I don't know what gender, but I do have a Bufalent. Sato, you've got to see the view from here. Why don't you and Kubfu enjoy the scenery, sure. I'm gonna say the view 
is not that great. You and Cub Fu are now the best of friends. Master Mustard should be really happy to see you, how well you can get along. Well, that was much quicker than I thought it was going to be. Do I have a poly anything? Probably. Oh, I guess I don't. Either way, now I can head back. Oh, yeah, it's a Meryl. I didn't realize Meryls were that tiny. Nope. Not even when I'm just walking. I think it teleported. <laughs> Where is he? Probably in his room, I guess. If only someone... No. But who would gather that many? What are you talking about? Oh, Sato. Just the person I wanted to see. Tell me. Do you collect watts? I sure do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all this, Sato. I'll have you know that the watt business is positively booming right now, and around here. And they say that those who hold the most watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up watts to spruce up the dojo a bit. Get more gear, but both my darling hubby and my son are more the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many watts all on my own. If you ever happen to have some watts to spare, Sato, I'll be, I'd be happy, I'd be glad to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't ask you to give them to me and not get anything in return. This would be a business transaction, of, of course. I'll reward you for your generosity. Whenever you have some extra watts, simply come and talk to me. To how many ones could you bear to part with? I want to know the goalpost. I could hire a hairstylist. Oh, neat. Really? And I'll give you 10,000 watts then. Yes. With over 5,000 watts, I can afford to have a hairstylist. Come work here at the dojo, too. Okay. Hello, hello. Is this the hair salon? Yes, this is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island with us. Yes, that's right. The Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm. There. Sending someone right now over. Hello, Dojo. It's lovely to meet you all. I'm your new hairstylist. But I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all. So when you'd like to have something done, please call on me in this room here. No cameras allowed. And no speaking of what you see inside this room. Oh, that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. But now we can always look our best, even out here in the wilds. 
And since you've gathered over 10,000 watts, I can order a Rotomi terminal for the dojo. Rotomi terminal? I'm guessing that's a Pokemon Center thing? Yeah. We were able to make a deal. Nice. Though, hmm. This doesn't look quite right. There's something written on the screen here. Now let me see. Thank you for your purchase. To get your new Rotomi up and running, you must first install our proprietary software. To order your copy today, contact our sales department at... what? They're simply trying to gouge us for more wants. Of all the greedy, conniving business practices. I'm awfully sorry about this, Sato, but it looks like we'll need a bit more of your help to get our Rotomi up and running. How much do you need? You need another 10,000 just for it to run? I mean, that's fine, but that's kind of... What do you mean I can't give you 10,000? Oh. That was 50,000. Okay. Now that that's taken care of... You've cost us. In fact, we'll make sure of it. So what's the next goal? Uh, if you could spare us another 10,000, then I'll put in a vending machine where you can buy really cheap drinks whenever you like. Neat. I don't really want to do that right now, so I'll talk to Master Fu. I mean Mustard. <laughs> Master Foo? Yes. <laughs> more The armor? Good, good. You two are just the best friend, best friends now, aren't you? Cub Foo's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two? Da da. Oof, I guess this is as good a spot as any. Now then, Sato and Kupfu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Kupfu. Prepare yourselves for the Tower of Two Fists. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters, and the red tower of power of God, darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kapu's fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose, and the types it gets to challenge. It gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kapu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. I should probably get Cab Food to level 60, since all the enemies are at least level 60. I have Dynamax, which is nice, but 
Looks like I don't actually have. Oh, neat. I don't actually have any. Tower of Darkness is over here. Hello, Sato. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Darkness. It's a special training ground that only Cub Fu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cub Fu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh, okay. Raised Kung Fu to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Once you enter the battle, okay. So, at least it tells me what level I should have trained it to. Would have been nice to tell me that before. I guess while I'm here, I might as well see if I can find any Dynamax dens. My discovery.
Hmm. Skarmory is much tougher to catch than I thought he would be. Or she would be. Like the rock. So, I'm going to split the part here and grind Kabfu to level 70 off camera. See you next time.